All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about the Fidelity Total Market Index Fund, ticker symbol FSKAX. This is an index fund that I believe everybody should have in their portfolio. It is well-rounded and it keeps you balanced throughout time. So here we go. Let's jump right into it. Let's go down just to the fund overview right here. As you can see, information technology makes up 28.9% and it is basically all United States stocks. The objective is to seek investment that correspond to the total return of a broad range of United States stocks. It invests 80% of its assets in common stocks, including the Dow Jones U.S. Total Stock Market Index, which represents the performance of a broad range U.S. stocks. I want to just show you on the top here that the NAV price, this is what it costs per share right now, $149. And don't worry, you don't have to buy one share every time you invest. You can do partial investing where you do $10 a week, $10 a month. You can dollar cost average in, and I'll post that video at the end where it shows how to do automatic investments with Fidelity, which I include here as well. So let's go over the composition real quick. Let's look at what is this fund. As you look into it, here's the major market sectors. Information technology makes up almost 29%. Financials make up 13.53%. Healthcare makes up 11.88%. Consumer discretionary makes up 10%. Industrials, 9%. When you look over here on the equity style map, you can see that it is large growth right here. That is the companies that it is investing in. So these companies must have greater than $10 billion that fund managers believe are poised for growth. So look right here, not much international uh, diversification. All domestic equities, 99%. International equities only make up 0.56%. So if you're looking for emerging markets or developing, that's not really where this fund is gonna get you. So look at the top 10 holdings. You have 3,853 companies all within here. So these 3,800 holdings, 29.58% of the total portfolio is in Microsoft at 6%, Apple at 5%, NVIDIA at 5%, Amazon at 3%, Meta at 2%, Google, if you add them both up together, you're basically at 3.6%, Berkshire Hathaway, 1.48%, Eli Lilly, and JP Morgan Chase. You can see that the regional diversification, like we said, is in the United States. And now, moving forward, we're going to go over the performance and risk. Looking over the performance, look at the life of the fund. You're getting an 8.78% return. That is excellent. That just shows consistency with this index fund. The ratings of it on five stars is three out of five. Five, I'm sorry, 10 years is three out of 887 funds. So it has a good rating by Morningstar. The fees and distributions are about 0.015%. So that is 15 cents per every thousand dollars you have invested. So that is virtually nothing. And that's why I love this fund. You get great diversification and you're paying a small fee or expense ratio. You have dividend history over here. You have capital gains you get. And what's your minimum investment? Nice zero dollars. So you can start and just put five, ten dollars every week, every month and get started on your journey in investing. That's why I think this is a beautiful fund. It works for features of all retirement accounts, your simple IRA, and you can do it in your taxable brokerage account, whatever you want. Look at the one year returns at 23% because tech is having a big year in 2024. But over 10 years, you've made 12% on your money. Lifetime was, remember, 8.68%. So that's excellent right there. I think this is something that is definitely worth considering because you get great diversification. This is just an overview going through it. Definitely feel free to pause the screen if you want to see. I just wanted to show you the 10-year hypothetical growth here in 2015. If you invested, this is 10 years ago, 9, 10 years ago. If you invested $10,000, it would be now worth $30,000. So you essentially doubled 2.5 your money, which is excellent. And they just show the Fidelity Total Market Fund. They compare it to the Dow Jones because there is some similarities with that. But look at the gains. They're all pretty much very identical. So this is definitely a fund that I think you should consider and look at your portfolio and see where you're at. See what your composition of your stocks look like. I mean, check and make sure how much Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, Amazon do you own and see if it's something that would you know, benefit your portfolio or are you just having too much asset allocation concentration on these particular stocks. All right, guys, this is my channel. I just want to show you the automatic investments I have. 
I'm gonna post this video at the end so you can click on it, but definitely look for this one, the auto invest in yellow, and then how to set up automatic investments. You can do this with any index fund you want, ETF, stocks, I have videos on all of them. Just look for these, I'll post them both at the end of the video, I just wanted to show you that. And also, definitely take a look at my playlist. I have different playlists if you're interested. We have Trading P&L 2024 where I day trade. I have the Fidelity Active Trader Pro where this is what I, I made 30 videos on this just to show you how I use it, what I learned from it, and how you can benefit from it. Long-term investments, which I'm going to put this video in, my Vanguard investments, Fidelity Index Funds and ETFs, and then just investing ideas, anything on the current market. So definitely check us out. Appreciate you tuning in and taking the time to watch my video.